Hello everyone. I honestly can't tell if you can see me that well, but hi, long time no see. If you can't tell by the title, I am a CNN intern. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I uh, applied for it the week before thanksgiving i believe it was like a week or two before thanksgiving no yeah it was definitely the week before thanksgiving because i remember i applied for it while i was doing my coursework hold on i apologize if you can hear her running around in the background but i applied the week before thanksgiving and i got the notification for the internship um interview not even a week later it was a little bit less than a week later and yeah and then the interview process has taken a few weeks i didn't get the go ahead after the initial interview until two weeks later and then i got um the confirmation a few days ago friday which was my birthday on uh, december 18th turned 21 um but yeah i'm super excited i will be working for cnn news source which is out of washington dc but the particular one i'm working for is in la um it is the entertainment um part it's all remote obviously um because of COVID, which is why i feel like i got the internship why i even uh, really applied because um everything is remote right now so a blessing in disguise some things with COVID. I'm so excited. It was very, very stressful and I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to get it because um, I applied to it on a whim literally like I think the day before it closed and I got it. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a junior. Uh, my major is multi multimedia journalism and my minor is political science um, and the internship is specifically for writing scripts for broadcast and i'm a writer but i'm more of the print side of everything um, all of my jobs have been print focused and that's just what i want to do with my life so i was very surprised when i did get the internship because i'm not specifically broadcast but i am a multimedia journalist so like it's good for me to have all of those kinds of kinds of experiences i just wanted to take you guys a little bit through the interview process um, i vlogged everything from the moment i got the notification um the email that they wanted me to do an interview and yeah um i'll insert the little clips but when i first applied as i said i didn't i got the email not even a week later um and they wanted me to record an interview through i think it's called higher view maybe okay guys excuse the puffy eyes it always happens before i go to sleep but it's like nine o'clock november 23rd and um i was checking my email like i normally do before i go to bed and i see subject line interview with cnn <laughs> so freaking crazy like i've always applied to internships with like big companies like that since the beginning of college i would do that like with nbc cnn um abc just to have my name kind of in their system i don't know why i just felt led to do that um it just seemed like a really good idea so i've done it literally every single year and i always got that denial email but it's okay because i wasn't really expecting anything out of it but like this year um because i've had had a lot of opportunities to gain more experience i was like well maybe this could happen and then i got that email <laughs> the heck is going on but yeah, I got an um, interview with CNN for um, News Source Entertainment area, um, their LA News Source area. So um, it's all virtual because of COVID. Um, and yeah, um, I just have to, it's gonna be like a, one of those like pre-recorded interviews things where like a person asks you questions and then you record your answer. Um, so I have to do that before Monday and it's Monday now. I have to do that before next Monday and it's Monday now. and. I don't know where I'm going to do it because I have really bad internet connection and I don't want to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to work. We're going to Thanksgiving this weekend um, and I'll be in a hotel room but I think, I don't know, since I don't want to get up early with my mom, I might wait till Wednesday 
um, is the day we leave for Thanksgiving and I might just linger behind and do it in the hotel room. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys before I do the interview. I think there's like two interview processes. Like if you get picked after the first virtual one, then you have a phone call with somebody. So be looking out. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Um, CNN pre-recorded um, the questions and I record myself answering the questions and um, it was a few questions about you know my experience and then about current events and just basically how could I help them help me and just all of that so I'm about to do the interview and I'm kind of nervous but it's okay it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine it's as I said it's like a recorded one so and like I'm not talking to a person live, but I'm so scared. I forgot to update you guys, but um, I was so nervous. Is it focused? I was so nervous. I was like shaking the whole time, but like, as I said, um, I think I mentioned it before, like it wasn't live or anything. So I like had the chance to practice beforehand and literally I could not stop shaking. I was like, Maya, calm down, like calm down. So like I took a second to like kind of breathe and I prayed and I think I did really, really well. Um, I messed up on like two of them but it gives you the option to retry so but the thing is about the retry is that you can't watch it afterwards like it immediately submits it so yeah <laughs> i think i did really really well i'm gonna pray about it right my manifestation journal and i think i should be good also i wanted to talk about like the questions if anyone um is interested in it um for my questions the ones i can't remember i wish i would have like written them down or taken a picture so i could like be a better use to you guys but um, I remember they asked me, the one I messed up on, uh, they asked me about the Supreme Court justices. They asked me why CNN, obviously like why I want to work for CNN. They asked me how I get my news. Um, oh, what is one thing I've learned from my past experiences? There were 11 questions. Oh, they asked me my availability. Um, why did you um, apply for the specific internships? Like what positions? Um, do you want the most and why um i don't know if i mentioned this i hope i didn't mention it story pitches um like two story pitches well i think they only asked one but i gave two. Oh, they asked me what surprised me most about um the past election and so i talked about how i'm from alabama and what really surprised me was tommy tuberville getting elected oh they asked me questions that i had any questions i had asked about how um the remote learning would benefit me to be able to be a better um news person um news person journalist yeah just gonna pray and hope and everything should be good i have seen an employee guys i finished up the um video interview thing i immediately i like had drafted the email before i even um interviewed but immediately i sent a an email to my specific recruiter and just thanked him, you know, for the opportunity and explaining my skills a little bit more and how I could benefit them. And I think that really helped. Um, obviously he replied and really appreciated it. I didn't get the another email until about two weeks later. Um, I was super bummed because I was just Kind of beginning to think that i didn't get it even though i'd really been like praying and manifesting about it but it was you always just kind of have those doubts so um i didn't get the email until approximately two weeks later and it was the producer for um cnn news source entertainment and he was just saying like my recruiter was very impressed um and that he would like to have a phone call conversation with me hey guys i know i look crazy but I just received an email about the second interviewing process. Oh my god. It says Hi Maya, I got a great report on you on you from our recruiters and I'd like to talk with you for a few minutes about the internship. Do you have any time Friday that's convenient? If so, please let me know what time works best for you and the best and thank you. I was just sitting here, I was gonna check it for the last time because it's eight o'clock at night and um I was just sitting here on my phone and then a new email pops up and I like read the name and I thought I knew who it was because I still get emails from my prior job, like my old job at the newspaper. But so I thought it was that guy that was emailing me because like they have the same name, but it was the guy, it's the guy from CNN. It's their senior producer for entertainment. 
what the heck is i feel like i'm like rambling what the heck is happening so we scheduled it for the next day had a little time issue thing but we worked it out okay guys i'm at work with my mom and so i don't know what time i'm supposed to get the call i said i was free from 7 to 11 and it's 9 but it's california time so it's just now like 7 30 there so i'm just i'm just i told my mom i was just gonna sit in the car and wait until he called and then i'll come back because i was gonna leave any any i was gonna leave anyways whenever he called um so i have a very open window of when he's gonna call but i'm just hoping he gets it like he's the type of person to do stuff sooner rather than later. Basically, um, he just asked me about my experiences um, in and out the classroom. He asked me about broadcast, which is why I was like, <gasps> because I didn't, I haven't really a lot of experience with broadcast except for the courses that I've had about broadcast writing specifically. So that's really good that I took that um, course because that is what I'll be doing for the internship. So I think you should really find something to connect with your interviewer about. Um, that way, like you guys can have an actual conversation rather than just, uh, so tell me about this, tell me about this, tell me about this, yeah. So I think that was important, me finding something I could connect with him about. Um, we laughed about Law & Order because he, one of the questions that I was asked in both the regular interview, the video interview, and the phone call interview was how I got my news. And I was like, I told um, a subscriber interviewed me um, for her project for class. And I told her that literally the only thing that's ever on our TV is the news or a Dick Wolf production. If you don't know Dick Wolf, he does Law & Order, Chicago PD, Chicago Met, Chicago Fire, like all those TV shows. And uh, he just thought that was funny. So <laughs> that worked out. Yeah, I thought it went really well. But as I said, I was very doubtful because of the broadcast part. And he just had said, you know, like today people want multimedia journalists. And even though that's my major, I hadn't really dipped into that much broadcast related work. Um, but I did have a broadcast writing class, which is, as I said, what this internship was for. So I talked about that a little bit and he just told me that he had someone else to interview and that I would be notified a week later, which was last week. Um, and he had said that he was off on Friday. So I knew I would probably get, um, the call or the email that I hadn't been selected, um, on Friday, this past Friday, which was my birthday, December 18th. Um, I didn't get to record it for you guys. I wasn't at home whenever I got the call and I didn't have my camera or anything. So something in me was just telling me, hey, you need to send um, an email just checking in. Like, I know it's only been a week, but like with the time difference and everything, I think you should really send an email. So every bone in my body was telling me to send this email. So I sent it. Um, I just said, it was great getting to speak with you last week. Do you have any feedback on my interview or like, have you finished the selection process? Um, and he replied within a few minutes. He was like, actually, I had a question. Like, what is your availability for the spring semester? And that's when I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but he asked me about my availability and, you know, I told him and I said, thank you again. Another email a few hours later that night it was around like four or five and he was just like hey can i speak with you for a minute and i was like duh like i'm not gonna say no <laughs> obviously you can speak with me um and so he called me and he was like it came down between you and one other person but i, I want to offer you the internship and i was like oh my gosh like it was my birthday so i was like already having a really good day <laughs> and i was like you're gonna make me cry and yeah so he just told me um about the pay about the hours about what we would do and how it would flow throughout um the entire interview not the interview but the portion of the internship but yeah i obviously accepted right now i'm doing my background check stuff like all of the little paperwork stuff that you have to do obviously before you get hired for somebody officially a cnn intern that is so crazy that uh, and it's just i don't know i know a lot of you guys came from one of my journalism videos so it's just great that i'm able to share this with you and share about you with the process but i think one tip i wanted to offer you guys some advice 
I'm no interview expert. Well, I'm literally a journalist, so that's funny that I say that. But <laughs> getting like the job process, I'm no expert. But I think one thing that has really helped is follow up emails because I feel like if I hadn't really touched base with the rec initial recruiter and was just expressing my gratitude for it, um, then he wouldn't have been like that super impressed with me. He would just be like, okay, here's a, just you know another candidate. Um, and I think if I hadn't emailed the producer. Um, just following up about it and checking in if he had made his decision um he wouldn't have asked me about my availability he wouldn't have really seen that it was something i was super interested in that's just where i'm coming from i have no idea if that was their thought process or anything but <laughs> excited to bring you guys along with me for everything obviously i will be vlogging the majority of it for you guys it starts january 25th today is the 21st christmas stars tonight um <laughs> but yeah you guys will see all of that um and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy the future videos. If you want any tips or anything, just let me know. I have a blog. If you guys don't know about that, you probably won't, but I have a blog if you guys don't know about that, where I post tips for quote unquote intro introverted journalists, where I just post about um, stepping out of your comfort zone and journalism in general. So if you guys want to check that out, you can go um, give it a little follow. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.